Hey friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. Today we're gonna be doing every dollhouse is a different aesthetic. So The Sims 4 has this dollhouse style of building. It's very popular on like Instagram, Twitter. It's a really great way to show off the interior of your build while it's still enclosed in a house. I have a video on my channel from a long time ago of me doing the dollhouse challenge. So check that out if you guys wanna see it in full. Today we're gonna do three different versions in the tiny dollhouse aesthetic. So we're gonna end up with three super cute, lofty style dollhouses. Let's get into it. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel, see what we're gonna get for our first loft. We get Y2K. This is perfect. Y2K style. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and build a square and then I think I'm gonna go on top of that and just kind of like start to build a little bit. When I think of Y2K style, this was like my childhood. Y2K is a lot of pink, a lot of glitter. So we're gonna be going for that today in here. I'm gonna delete these walls using control on my key keyboard and then I'm gonna be left with that lower part exposed. We're gonna do the exact same thing up top here until I can figure out like what my rooms are really gonna look like. I think I'm gonna put this on platform so I'm gonna start with that right off the bat. The thing with these dollhouse challenges is in order to make it an actual functioning house you're gonna need a door to make sure that your sims aren't like coming in and out whenever they want so what I like to do is raise it up make sure your sims can't like get up there without actually using the door which I'm gonna put right here and even though though it's not like closing off, it acts as a, a barrier for other sims essentially. When I think of Y2K, I also think of like Barbie, Brad's doll, like doll aesthetic kind of. So I want to get this base game lounger in pink. I love this item. I feel like that totally looks like it could be like a Polly Pocket Barbie sort of like item. So I'm going to put these out here. We're going to picture Paris and Nicole just like sipping their cocktails. We can get some grass out here maybe. I can put my stairs there like that. And for my roofing, I don't really want to like fully roof it. But what if I delete this wall? I'm gonna use a glass roof piece like right here, but I want to make it small just like that circular build that I did recently. Maybe that works a little bit better. And then we're gonna go in with some trim and I want to get some paint and put that as glass. So that's actually gonna kind of be like a window in the back area. Our roofing is really gonna be like our back wall and it's got our windows built in. We can do a roof on top of this here. And I think I'm gonna put a fence on there so that I can actually get some trim on top of it too. Like a thicker trim that's gonna kind of act as my roofing. For now this looks so strange. Okay let's get some pink. We definitely need the pink vibes. I think I'm gonna use Eco Lifestyle in this pink swatch. So this is what I ended up with for my shell and down here like what I did is I used a lot of half walls but there's a platform trick that I want to show you guys. Super easy, super basic but basically you can cover up your platforms with half walls which is what I did down here even though I didn't really use a different wallpaper. Like I kind of just kept it exactly the same as the platform paint that was already on there. But what you can do by doing this is if you cover up your platforms with a half wall, you can actually now go in and change it to any wallpaper you want. So you just have more options by doing it that way. I think that's really the only like build hack thing I wanted to share with you guys. Let's go in and start to furnish this thing in a Y2K aesthetic. So I think I want to start over here with the bedroom. Y2K bedrooms are so freaking nostalgic for me. It reminds me of my own childhood bedroom. Actually, Scott, that I lied. It reminds me of the childhood bedroom that I always dreamed of but never got. I remember back then all my friends had these really cool like posters on the wall. A big thing was like taking magazine cutouts and like just putting them on your wall with like tape. So if I can find something like that to go on here like these, <laughs> this is perfect. I want to put a boom box with CDs. So I need this. I love how it's like kids CDs. Like what is that? I need a boom box. Not a boom box. They were a little more advanced. They look like that. They still had like the cassette option, at least mine did as a kid, but they were also like you could put CDs in them. It was very advanced stuff. <laughs> in this room next to the bedroom, I really want to do a walk-in closet. So I'm going to go to Get Famous. I think I'm going to use a little bit of Dream Home Decorator, but I kind of want to use the pre-built ones that we have from Get Famous. I think mostly just so that I can get that pale pink swatch. I was going to put a bathroom here, but I thought it would be a little bit weird to have to like walk through that to get outside. So walk through the closet, then you can show off all your stuff. Anyone who has to come outside, you'd be like, oh, we have to go through my closet first. Can you imagine? I'm gonna put these. I wanted a canopy bed so bad with the curtains you would pull to the side. So what if I like built that into this build? I'm gonna delete this, but I'm just using it as a guideline so I can put curtains on here kind of more freely. I wanna put the paranormal ones because they have those beads on there that everyone put on their doors back then. You know the ones I'm talking about. They would get stuck in your hair. They would always get tangled, like literally the worst thing ever. <laughs> 
So this is what the upstairs ended up looking like. Look at all the posters that I found for my bedroom. I've got all the CDs. And then I have this rug from City Living. City Living is so weird because it has all of these like really good hidden swatches. Like this is the default here. And then hidden underneath are so many cute like rugs that I always forget about. This is what my closet ended up looking like. Again, rolling with like those patterns, like the pink. I also added a pool and I found these. These are also from Seasons hidden underneath one of these swatches. I found these, I don't know, the flowers and like the color scheme of them. Very much like Disney girl bedroom. Ooh, okay, we're gonna use this rug here. I'm gonna maybe size it up. No, we're good. We're gonna use this. I think this is gonna be my desk. I could do a little like study area over here. Wait, I'm gonna need like a bulky computer. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna need like this. Oh my God, flashback to me playing The Sims on like literally that. Our lava lamp, of course, over on our desk there. We have our posters up on the wall. I did a little bit of clutter and for the bathroom I just went with a little bit more formal movie posters these ones are at least in frames get famous bathtub I did some hanging plants in here and this is what my bathroom looks like all right back to the wheel we're gonna go and see what we got for dollhouse number two let's go ahead and spin for the next one y2k was a good one we get psychedelic <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this again. I'm gonna do a similar kind of style. So let me just get my shell going. I think this one landscaping is gonna be really important. So I'm opening up the debug menu. And when I think of psychedelic, I think of like colorful, bright, but with a lot of contrast way out there. Sort of makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable while you're looking at it because it's very overwhelming. So I wanna take that and put it into a build in The Sims 4. <laughs> I'm actually very excited excited about this one. I have done a psychedelic build before on Twitch and it's probably one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. It is on the gallery if you guys want to check it out, but psychedelic just screams my name. Like, I love it. I am concerned a little bit about going overboard. I feel like psychedelic for me, I'm just going to go all out. Like, we're going to go extreme for this. I'm going to raise this one up on a foundation instead of using the platforms. I ran into a few issues last time to no one's surprise. So for my landscaping, I've got my get to work filter on with Strangerville because they both both have these weird things that I want to use for my landscaping. Like totally unnatural and like out there is what I'm going for right now. I'm debating using like some crystals in there. I'm definitely using the mushrooms from Get to Work. Like a lot of the alien stuff comes with that pack in debug. So it's like, this is the kind of stuff that I want. I'm looking for like, there's a literal canyon or like hole in the ground that is glowing like blue. And it looks so cool at nighttime. It's from Get to Work and I can never find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this thing, but if we go to nighttime, like look at that. This is gonna be such a vibe. I think I'm gonna leave this for my landscaping. It's so cool. And now I kind of have like a color scheme too. Like I can go in with some pink, some blues, maybe a little bit of like yellow or something. But that looks so sick. Then we're gonna do, I think like black detailing, but for the rest of it, very bright and colorful. Okay, I think I got it. We've got the yellow in there. I've got some pink base game wallpaper that I'm using as well. I think what I'm gonna do is try and find some artwork. Where is that like? sloth. This. Let's size this guy up and this can be like part of our wallpaper right here. I kind of want to do it on both. It's like sort of trippy. I mean, that's kind of psychedelic a little bit. Like if we change this to like that guy or the llama. I don't know which I like better. I have another idea actually. I put out a video recently explaining how to find custom content off the gallery. I'm going to do that today. We're going to go to Simspiration84. I know from that video that this user has rotated rugs so I can hang them like tapestries. So here it is they rotated all of their rugs. I want to use that paranormal one in my build today. I think that would look so cool. I'm going to center it maybe a little bit more. See, now I have that rug on my wall. That's so freaking cool. I think I'm going to do my bedroom down here, actually. Let's go find a bed. I'm picturing Island Living because Island Living has this swatch with like a swirl on it and like crazy patterns. I want to put it directly underneath my tapestry there. And let me see. Like, this is the one that I was picturing. There's also that swirl, but I kind of like, I feel like I'll probably change this around a few times. Since this is gonna be more of like my bedroom, I think I'll put my kitchen upstairs on this one. But in here, what I can do is get like a big rug. I think I wanna get a circle rug and this time we can size it up. And I want pillows. Yes, it hurts the eyes, but you know, it's gonna be a nice place to be. Maybe we'll get a fireplace. Let's use this one because I know there's some crazy colors in there. Maybe we could do that. Maybe another paranormal plant. Oh my God, hear me out. What if we did my first pet stuff for psychedelic? Okay, if I saw, if I was just 
chilling and I saw some fishies swimming around in my coffee table, I think I'd have some questions about my brain and the state of her, okay? I still need a front door also. I'm picturing movie hangout. With that swatch or one of the more crazy ones, I feel like we could totally get away with it. I have a lot of empty space up here, so I'm picturing maybe like a light or like a something up there. City living also has that. I could put this above here. That's kind of a vibe. Okay, I can already tell. I know so many people are gonna be like not about this build. I might come back downstairs to clutter a little bit more, but I'm gonna go upstairs and do my kitchen. We gotta make sure we've got all of our essentials here. I'm picturing, okay, so base game has like these counters and I know they've got some wild swatches in there. I was actually picturing maybe like this one, but I think I like the pale pink a little better. So we can kind of wrap that around this way and then my dining area can be up here. I am planning on making Sims in this aesthetic too. So later on when we do the walkthrough, you're gonna see our Sims in each aesthetic walking on through. We need like a really extra dining table or chairs actually. Maybe movie hangout again. Yes, like those. I mean, there's a lot of color going on, but somehow it's still very cohesive. I don't understand. So this is what our psychedelic dollhouse turned out like. I feel like psychedelic and dollhouse maybe don't usually belong in the same category, but this is what I ended up doing. This is how I furnished it down here. Look at the little like centerpiece that I did. There's skulls. I feel like in psychedelic art, you see a lot of skulls. I put crystals. We've got all of our essentials. My smoke detector is hiding behind my fridge, which I think I'm gonna start doing a little bit more often. And I sized up these like huge paper lanterns from kids room stuff. They've got some pretty gnarly like patterns in there. So sizing those up, I feel like just added to like the artwork of this build. Hey besties. Apparently we forgot to show you the bathroom earlier. So now I'm just gonna have to show you. I actually felt kind of bad forgetting about this because I actually liked this bathroom. I put that little cat, I sized up this cat from Cats and Dogs and made it look like the cat was talking. On a normal day, I probably just wouldn't have shown you this bathroom, but I had to show you literally just for that feature. Anyway, it's pretty out there. I can see a few people probably commenting and being like, girl, what the heck is that? But you know, it, understandable. This is my psychedelic loft. <laughs> Let's move on. We're gonna do one more. Let's go ahead and spin for the next Sims 4 loft that we're gonna be building. We get doll core. Oh my God. This could either be really cute or terrifying. <laughs> There's no in between. It's kind of ironic that we have to do doll core for a freaking dollhouse challenge. So we need to make this really good. I kind of want to make this like a heart shaped loft. I don't really know how I'm going to pull it off yet. I'm going to use like flooring pieces. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's go in again with like our square that we started with last time. And what I'm going to do from here, I think, is try and get my heart shape to go this way. Is this going to work? Oh, wait, wait. Okay. And then if I delete these, all of the fences and then delete this, I mean, that kind of looks like a heart, but it's a little bit boxy. So maybe we can kind of bring it in a little bit. Wait. Stop. Okay, so we're gonna have like a little heart there. And this is what our shell is going to be based around. So I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna put it on top of here. How the heck am I gonna do this? We can do a room up here. Like this can be where our bathroom goes again. We'll raise it up again on a foundation. Oh my, this is so cool. Wait, and then I could just do like my walls on the back part. <gasps> it's wow. so perfect. Okay, wait, let me just go in and get some trim. Thicken that up a little bit. Okay, I'm so excited. I need to do my roofing. A long time ago on my channel, I did a heart-shaped build and I pulled off the roofing and to this day it is still one of my greatest accomplishments of this channel. So I'm gonna do it again, all right? Okay, so I've got my two circular pieces. We're gonna pull this over and I'm gonna connect it up top and I'm gonna pull it until I can see my roof will be able to like connect over top like that. And then I'm just gonna pull it over a little bit and it's connected. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then just make sure that they're pulled back. And look at that roofing. I literally did heart roofing. And then I can put some of this on there and I feel like it won't really look too weird Like you can't really see through and see my ceiling So I'm okay with doing a glass roof right here And when I thought of doll aesthetic, I didn't want it to be scary Like I don't want this to be spooky. I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to avoid I don't want to do that. I want to do cutesy doll core like pretty Expensive, you know, I want to do something like that I don't know how we're gonna do that though because I don't really know how many 
dolls I actually do have in this game. Okay, so obviously I can't put any walls around that rounded part, but I can put fences. So what I'm gonna do is go and get, Discovery University has this really pretty one for this kind of vibe. I've been using this a lot lately. I'm gonna put that around these. I'm gonna get my columns, make sure it looks nice and polished. Actually, maybe up top we could change it to a different fence. Have a little bit of variety in there. This one from base game looks really nice paired with that Discovery University one and my roofing. I think we're gonna be rolling with a lot of like white and gold with this. So, so far this is the landscaping that I'm deciding to go with. I used all white everything, flowers, bushes, etc. I'm using the chandeliers from Vampires in a white swatch and Realm of Magic doors. They look so pretty. I've been thinking about what I wanna use as my like dolls. Like in The Sims 4, there's not really a lot of dolls that aren't really scary slash weird when sized up. Like, I mean, I have these action figures here, but like kind of terrifying. I do have the teddy bears though. So I think I'm gonna use some teddy bears. I'm gonna get all of the items out that I wanna use. I also considered like sizing up this thing, but again, that is so freaking scary. I do know that Nifty Knitting Debug has some cute ones so we could put some of these little teddy bears, but like for doll core, I mean, yes, it is a doll house. We're already kind of doing it, but like I can't do doll core without dolls. <laughs> I refuse, I'm not using these scary ones. What I think I'm gonna do is find mannequins. I'm gonna go in to get to work. Why is get to work thriving in this build, honestly? I'm gonna get a few of them. We can go in and dress them in like a doll clothing aesthetic. I think that's gonna be the best way to go about this. I actually think what I'm going to do is get the essentials first. So I'm not gonna do any of the like clutter or anything. I'm gonna keep it pretty basic, except for all of the essentials. And then when I'm done with that, we can go in and add the dolls because like, that is really gonna be what we're gonna clutter with. So I'm using this Realm of Magic pretty bed. I might actually use Realm of Magic curtains too. And like that cream color there, we need a nice ottoman, luxury party stuff maybe? <laughs> yeah, literally this like right there. This kind of reminds me of like a courtyard, like a courtyard bedroom. Down below, I wanna use this Get Famous table here with those really pretty details on the side with actually luxury party stuff chairs, I think. Every time I use luxury party stuff, I feel like it's just so funny. <laughs> Let's do in the background, I can do my kitchen here. We'll do Realm of Magic because I know it has like jewels on it. For my fridge, like I can go in with the gold and the white again. And the counters I think might also look kind of cute. Like these ones here. And look, now that I'm able to clutter, like I really haven't added too much stuff other than the dolls and this looks so funny. I did my bathroom too in the same kind of like doll aesthetic. A lot of like white and gold and like pretty things. And then this is how I furnished the downstairs. So again, I've got my mannequins, which I do plan on putting something on them. I'll do that for the walkthrough. We've got our teddy bear clutter, some more stuffed animals, and this is what the exterior ended up looking like. I feel like this one does look like a mini dollhouse, so we definitely nailed that challenge there. I'm gonna go into live mode, get my aesthetic sims that I made for these builds, and they're gonna do our walkthrough. So we got our Y2K aesthetic dollhouse loft. I freaking love this one. I think this looks so cool. It's really cool watching them like move around in this like dollhouse aesthetic. So this is our Y2K one. One. I'm gonna leave before she sets it on fire. Here's our psychedelic house. This one looks so freaking cool. Oh my god, here's my psychedelic sim that I made for this house with her in here too. So vibey. I freaking love this. With her outfit too, like the checkers. Look at this sim I made for the doll core. She's so cute. It's fall, so like the colors and everything going on in my save is a little bit wild, but like even that's so pretty. I'm currently getting my doll core sim to go and set the mannequins, which I put on like some cute white and gold dresses with like a tiara on all of them. She's gonna go and change them to the other outfits that I had. Oh, it's actually kind of nice because she could walk through that debug stuff. So pretty, I love this. So this has been every dollhouse. It's a different aesthetic. I hope you guys like this style of video. I love making these builds. I just like never know how to do it <laughs> in a video format, but let me know if you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.